Okay, we're doing the advanced part of 1.4. First off, some vocab. The complement is going to be 90 minus x. The supplement is going to be 180 minus x. Okay, this will help us with the following problem. So it says the measure of an angle is 40 more than its complement. Therefore, an angle is going to be x equals 40 plus its complement, or 90 minus x. We then go in and combine like terms. We get x equals 130 minus x because 40 and 90 are like terms. I can now add x to both sides to get x is on one side. Numbers on the other end up with 2x equals 130. Divide both sides by 2. And x equals 65. And then if I take one, 65 and subtract from and subtract 90 from it, I end up with 25, or x equals 25. So my two angles are going to be 25 and 65. I apologize for the music, but we'll set the mood a little bit. The next question says the measure of the supplement of an angle is 30 more than twice the measure of an angle. So we have 2 times the supplement, which is 180 minus x, plus 30 equals our other angle. So if I distribute my 2, I get 360 minus 2x plus 30 equals x. I combine like terms and I get 390 minus 2x because these two are combining equals x. Now I add 2x because I need numbers on one side and everything else on the other. So I get 390 is equal to 3x. 390 equals 3x means that I divide both sides by 3 and I get 130 equals x, but I need to subtract that from my complement here, and so I do 130, 180 minus 130 to get 50, so my two angles are gonna be 50 and 130. The last problem says two angles form a linear pair. If we remember, that means that they're gonna equal 180. Okay, the measure of one angle is 24 less than half the measure of the other angle, so I'm going to end up with one angle being x plus half of that x minus 24, since it says less than 24 of half the measure. Now I find the measure of both. I can combine like terms until I get 1.5x minus 24 equals 180. When I add 24 to both sides, to get numbers on one side x on the other, I get 204 is equal to 1.5x. I can divide both sides by 1.5, which results in x equaling 136. Now if I take 136 and divide it by 2, so 136 divided by 2 to give me 68. Okay, then I take 68 and subtract it by uh, 24, and I end up with 4, 4, or 44, and if I were to add those together, my two x's, I get 0, 1, 8, 1, which is 180, which is what we want, so my final answer, sorry, my final answer here, oh, I'm trying to get it to see, to see uh, but, Sorry, 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 sorry. But my final answer here is going to be 44 and 136. Sorry for that little flub at the end, but there you go. Those are the advanced problems.